What's up guys, welcome back to Twin Chevy Studio and a huge update on the Dolphin Android situation. There is now a new update on the developmental version that is making games run a lot faster on Snapdragon CPUs and Adreno GPUs. I think it's Adreno and the proof is here in 007. GoldenEye running at 30 frames per second. Before, I could only get this to run at, at least up to 15, and nothing I did could, could make it work any better. I've also tested out new Super Mario Bros. I've also tested out Splinter Cell Double Agent, all games that were running terribly before on the Android version, but now, thanks to this new developmental update, are working fine. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to uninstall your version of Dolphin if you got it from the Google Play Store because the Google Play Store hasn't been updated since November and this version is on the developmental version from the Dolphin website. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to install that and get that on your phone. So first, obviously, you're gonna to want to uninstall your Google Play version. Then you're gonna to want to go to dolphin-emu.org slash download on your phone. And then scroll down to the bit where it says developmental version. Now, I just recommend getting whatever the latest one there is because um, I, can't, I don't know when this came out. I've been busy making videos for the Xbox playing GameCube games and Dolphin tutorials trying to make them for the Xbox Series S retro arc. So if you have an Xbox Series S or Series X, you want to, know how to play retro games on that, check out the videos. Links will be in the description. So just click the download button on the Android section, click download, and there it will come it will download depending on your browser. I use Google Chrome, so it'll just come up with an option to open it. So when you open it, it might come up with this if you have a file manager or something that for security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source. Go click the settings section. Your phone might be a different version of Android than mine, so it might look a little bit different, but essentially you need to go into the settings and allow it to install unknown apps. So I've set it to allow from this source, and then it will come up with another security message telling me why I shouldn't, uh, install apps from unknown sources, but I know this source, so I click I'm aware of the possible risks and assume all possible consequences. And on my phone, it makes me wait five seconds before I click OK, and then it will install the app. So once you've installed the app, it's simple, open it, and then you set it up like I set up in my Dolphin video. If you want to know, I'll put the links in the description of how to set up. So it's different. You don't get it from Google Play this time. You get it from the APK and games are running a lot smoother. And I'm just going to show you quickly what I did earlier with Splinter Cell. I couldn't get this game running past 15 frames per second once it got into the game. And now after this new update, it now runs at 20 to 30 frames per second, meaning I will be able to play this game on my phone, which I think is amazing. Good amazing news, work. Folks. This I've new update is mainly, like mainly going to be working on Snapdragon. Uh, CPUs and Adreno GPUs. It's something that they've done to figure out with that. So if you don't have one of them in your phone, then unfortunately this may not work for you. Uh, with all that being said, just a quick video. I'm going to go back to working on these Xbox videos for the GameCube, playing some GameCube games on my Xbox. Um, so hit that like button for this fantastic new update, which has made GameCube Wii games run better on the Dolphin emulator. And let me know down in the comments if you've had struggles with any games on Google Play version and you've installed this developmental version and it has worked for them. I've heard Twilight Princess runs better. I've heard that a lot of games are starting to run better on this, but I just haven't got the time to test them all because I'm currently doing working on other projects. But I thought it was something that people that watch my channel or people that have my channel saved, they are interested in Dolphin emulator and they, it'd be something that people would enjoy um, hearing about or want to hear about or be happy to hear about. So uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Take care and remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do.